Hey guys, Gunshy Mori back here with another video. So today I am going to be looking at the Dinotherium. Therium? Dinotherium? Dinotherium? Dinotherium, I think is how it's pronounced. So today I'm going to be looking at the Dinotherium from Arc Editions. This literally like released about half an hour ago. I'm just hopping in, looking at it, and I decided, you know what? Fuck it, let's do a video. So here we are. So right now, this one in front of me is the R variant here with the saddle on it. And what I can say that the saddle looks awesome. Um, there's one thing I haven't checked yet because there is a platform back here. And on some creatures like uh, that have like these itty bitty ones like the Strider. And I want to say what's the space bomber like the whale. The space whale has a building platform. I want to see if this one does real quick. OK, so that, yeah, you can't place anything on this uh back here but up here is where the main saddle is i'm not sure yet if you can have passengers options uh i don't see any passenger ones so it's kind of a just hop on and go so yeah and right behind you on the saddle there is a keg so you know you're going to a party especially what seems like you need beer to tame this dude also the particle effects right here on his head are from a debuff that they have because um the way these guys work is that they have a pack mechanic and the higher level, the highest level male is the alpha of the pack and the highest level male does not like competition in his pack. So if there's any other males, he will have this little, like, I think a debuff on him and all that. So basically the way you're going to want to do these guys seems how they are bullet sponges and they actually take 30% reduced damage from siege weapons so like ballistas and turrets and all that they take 30 percent less damage because of that you're gonna only want like one male in your pack and then probably uh three females three or four something like that i think there i think there is a limit on how many you can have that will get a buff so yeah in which I think it's only like a total of 15% on the... Yeah, you get a 15% damage buff on the males and a 5% damage reduction on the females when you also use their uh, pack buff here. But before I hop on this dude and show you all his controls, we're going to go look over here at the scaling. So as you can see here, we got the normal mammoth. I'm also using Arc Nucleus and I'm just hitting randomize on their colors. So, I know a couple of them look similar. I promise you I randomized. They just came out similar. But Yeah, here's the Mammoth. Then here's the Parasaur. And then here's the Dinotherium. This is a dude is big. I mean, he's bigger. I think he's like a little bit bigger than the Acro. I didn't pop one out. I'm probably not going to pop one out. But yeah. Anyways, if I go over here, hop on this dude's back. For attacks. We have, oh, let's get into his movement first, because this is one of the very few creatures where no matter which way you're looking, he has a, throw, a full 360 degree of movement. I mean, it's awesome. And the, whichever way you're looking, he will turn as well. So he'll turn in place. And for a siege creature, this is actually pretty awesome, because that is what this guy is meant to be, is a siege creature. He's supposed to take take damage and yeah but yeah for left click here we have i think a simple head swipe uh what is left click all right right click is something called a, tr or a trunk gore attack here let's quickly make sure i don't have any timers on me he keeps shaking his head no when i try to attack so i wonder if i it's like all invalid targets like yeah that's the left click yeah that's the right click like they're invalid targets I'm trying to wonder here. All right, so now if I hit C, I 
Alright, I just keep on getting things like he doesn't want to, so... Um, let me quickly see if I actually have to be, like, attacking something. Alrighty, so I'm over here in the desert now with one of these guys, which, funnily enough, I'm pretty sure I didn't mention this. From the way it looks like is that these Dinotheriums spawn in deserts. So, I've noticed them on Scorched and all was it Lost Islands and... Rag. So any map that I like, those are the only three maps I've checked because I was pretty sure they were going to be a dino. Or is it? I'm also not even showing you guys the attack right now. I'm just kind of attacking stuff. But that's the left click. Uh, that's the right click. I don't know why. I think those guys weren't attacking because I was on friendly structure, so they wouldn't attack. But yeah, left click, right click. Right click does a lot and it has a cooldown. A left click you can just keep going then right click boom all right let's see if c does anything there we go there is the war that gives you the boost if i quickly look here we got the taunt then we got attack rally and again what that rally does is a five percent damage reduction to females i believe and then a 15 percent damage boost to males and which males do not like competition so i'm pretty sure the way that you would do that is by having lower level males and not like somewhat high level uh you know other ones because the male would be the leader of the pack from what i'm reading i also just noticed this from glitching into that there's tusks on the saddle i just realized that look at that tusk awesome yeah. Anyways, here, I'm going to go show you guys how to tame one of these guys and how to do red light, green light. So, as you guys can see here, here's a nice, friendly pack of Dinotherium. Let's go see if they want to be tamed. So, apparently, they'll just start approaching you if they smell beer. So, let's pop a beer. Maybe that. Maybe that's what you need. Like, they'll, they'll come over here and be your drinking buddy. Also, this was probably a bad idea to drink a beer. Okay, I think while their ears are up means you can't approach. I think this means that they're going to kill me. Yep. So it's going to approach you like so. That's a sign that it's a no bueno. No bueno. He doesn't want beer. He's pissed at you. Get away. That's that's what that is. Okay. So now eventually if I get up here, start crouching. Uh, I I really need to try and get this. So, I think he's going to start approaching us here. Listen for the sniff. You'll hear a sniff. That's that's one of the signals that it's a no-no. See when his like, trunk's up there, around? That's one of the ones that's like, yeah, no, it's a bluff. It's a bluff. He's going to attack you. Again, I think this one's a no bueno. Yeah. You can see him sniffing. You can hear him sniffing. I think he wants... I think that one is an actual, like, yeah, approach me. I'll give, give me beer. Nope. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, he's sniffing. He's sniffing. Yeah, we gave him a beer. We gave him a beer. That's one. That's one in him. It's going to take two here. I don't even know what level this dude is. I just started taming. I think it said 85. I love that sniffing animation. It's like, it's actually how elephants sniff. Okay. Th this is a bluff. This is a bluff. Don't approach. Don't ap approach. He's going to hit you. Yeah. I think it's a bluff. He doesn't want any beer. It's a bluff. Yeah, so back up. 
Let's get this dude on the thing. Yeah, I got 70% on level 50 with one beer. Ooh, ooh. Do you want liquor? Kind sir. I don't think he wants liquor. I'm gonna wait for the whole... No, he doesn't want liquor. He doesn't want booze. Run! I want you guys to know this. I've been at this for now for like an hour. Or half hour. Trying to tame this dude. Or one of these dudes. And I still don't understand it. Like, the dossier. Like, if you read it, I'll have a... Yeah, it will be probably in the thumbnail. But if you go to Garuga's Discord and actually read the thumbnail, it shows all these, like, different symbols and... Like, a, like when to approach, and he says, yeah, it's that way because it's fun. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's a backup stance. So when the trunk is to the side, that's one of the key warnings that it's a bluff. Along with if the ears are back, that's a key warning that it's a bluff. That's what I'm understanding. If his ears are down flat, it's a bluff. It's a it's an attack. And if his trunk's off to the side, he's he, it's a that's a red light. If ears are back and also the trunk's to the side, that's a red light. But come on. See how the ears are back right now? That's a red light. It's a red light. Come on, if you would change your ears, that would be awesome. I suggest we back off a bit. Yeah, there we go. See, ears are flapping. Taking that. There we go, there we go. So when his trunk's wagging, like, side to side, that's a green light. When his ears are forward and flapping, that's a green light. And when they're doing both together, that's a really green light. That means he wants it. But yeah, we got E now, so. I'm hoping that helps you guys figure out how to tame it. I'm still kind of iffy about it. So I'm going to actually go try this one more time on a different one and Oh, speak of the devil. I can actually do that right here, right now, with this boy. Let's let's see if I understand this better. He, ears are back. He doesn't want anything from me. So back up. Okay. All right. He's a... He's aggroed at E, so I'm going to just abandon E and let him fight for his life. And we're going to go after Rainbow over here. Little rainbow-colored one. See how he's sniffing? Hear it? He's got the scent. So he's. this is a green light. We can approach. This is a really green light, so approach and feed. Boom. All right, there we go. Yeah. So I understand it now. It's awesome. But we got the Dinotherium now, and that is how you tame them. So, yeah. Um, if you guys do want to see more content, I do post videos on the daily. Um, I might actually start working on trying to tame one of these guys in my series here in a couple episodes, but I'm going to have to get beer brewing and I'm working on my way getting back to the island and all that. But yeah, but these Dinotherium, again, they are very mobile. They are defensive creatures and yeah, they're just all around awesome. And they also, the fact that they're passive beer drinking alcoholics, Makes me even love them more. But anyways, um, if you guys do like ARK and you guys want to see more of my content, please leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, this has been Gunsai More signing off.